Welcome to Keynotes to Collectibles with Curtis Zimmerman. In this series, I'll be sharing Ray's sports collection and my temporary shift from being a keynote speaker to the world of sports cards and collectibles. Well, I'm very excited about having Elle on Keynotes to Collectibles. Now, Elle's my wife, my business partner, my best friend for many, many years, and you can't just go off and do these things on your own, at least I can't, without having somebody that's been through this with me in the past and really helped me navigate so many different things. And I was hoping today you would just share with everybody kind of the things that you see from 10,000 feet and not just helping me, but you help lots of other clients with kind of navigating, yes, it's so obvious to you, but not to others. And um, you and I have started lots of different businesses together through the years, and so often it's just that support that you bring that I wanted to just you know share with everybody here and uh, let you know I'm not doing this on my own. It, it's a family affair. Yeah, so my favorite story that I love to share is that, um, for those of you that don't know us, I met Curtis on a cruise ship. He was a mime and a juggler, and I was a singer and a dancer, and I was still in college in Ohio, and he moved to Ohio, and the first question was, how do we sell a mime in Ohio? So we figured that out through lots of curiosity and lots of creativity, but the real pivot came when Curtis was miming and made a really successful career in Ohio, but then started to feel like there was something else, something different, something more, and didn't know what that was going to be because his whole past had been miming, entertaining, stage performing, and slowly through working with arts and education, he started teaching teachers, he started consulting with school organizations, and then as he stepped into his next thing, which was professional speaking, which most of you know him from that, it just seemed so natural. It was like a progression that seemed to just kind of be happening on its own. And even though Curtis was like, how in the world a mime who doesn't talk at all is now gonna start standing on stage and speak to people? Um, I just saw it so clearly that that was really a gift that he had, an ability that he had to teach, to influence, to inspire. So then when the pandemic hit and literally the speaking industry changed overnight, we were back to that what do we do next? And it was a little bit more abrupt. It didn't come as quickly, as easily, as clearly, but it was through watching Curtis really follow his passion and invest the, the extra time that he had into what he loved. Should I stop there? <laughs> no, I think that's great. I, I would just think, uh, you know, if you would share the first time you heard about Oliver and I being in Trader's World and meeting Ray and this concept of, you know, laying on the table of, hey, maybe we buy all this sports memorabilia and all these cards and j just your first thoughts when that when that happened well actually I wasn't surprised and when I tell people about it now when I say yeah Curtis and I together purchased an inventory filled with sports cards and sports memorabilia people sort of look at me like what how in the world did that happen but it didn't seem out of the ordinary to me because I watched sort of the ramping up to that which as I said started with following what he loved, by pursuing what he was passionate about, what he was interested in, and that was in collecting, and primarily Michael Jordan collecting. And so with the extra time that the pandemic provided, which a lot of us are familiar with, he started pulling his old collectible collectibles out and going to garage sales and sort of getting back involved and learning that there was a bit of an explosion of sports cards. And so going to garage sales, learning, getting involved in buying things and trying to sell them. I mean, he bought hundreds of golf clubs and tried to sell those. He bought GI Joe toys. He bought NASCAR things. Every day it was an adventure. Like what was he gonna bring home from the garage sale? But part of that was going to Trader's World because that's where a lot of buying and selling happened. And he was learning about the different, the different like toys and things that he was picking up, trying to sell them, trying to learn. And then through the sports cards, he connected with the shop here in Trader's World and found out that the guy who owned the shop was about ready to retire. And so Curtis really started seeing a bigger possibility, started seeing 
knowing that we were in a bit of a transition, knowing that it was something he loved, knowing that he'd been spending weeks and weeks and weeks investing to learn and really, really asking a lot of questions. I think I'd go back to that. I think I said curiosity earlier about when he came as a mime to Ohio. We had to be really curious about how could this work. Um, and so I think Curtis's curiosity and all the whole family encouraging him to keep learning, keep investigating, keep going to garage sales, keep you watching YouTube videos. Um, then when the opportunity to buy the warehouse came, it sort of seemed like the natural next step. So we took it. And I can't stress enough the we took it. I didn't take it. She didn't take well, it. Well, I think we yeah. took it is, yeah. is so important because again, it was also <clears throat> a big financial decision. Yeah, and I think that there was a lot of discussions, a lot of conversations about what's the worst thing that could happen if we did this. How could we make it work if it failed, but still not completely lose the investment that we made? So we went through all these different case scenarios. We talked through, you know, what would be the next steps. Um, yeah, so, and, and through a lot of praying and a lot of just time quiet, trying to discern and really be still and see if there's other source of inspiration to guide our decisions. We also looked at the big picture of what this would mean and how could we each sort of bring our strengths into the equation. Um, you know, he mentioned the kids are getting involved with selling, with inventorying. What is my strength in this? What is Curtis' strength? So that we could really look at it as, we, we, we sort of looked at it as a short-term investment of time, energy, talent, but that everybody needed to be on board. Um, I think that's one of the ways that it worked really well. I just think it's really important that people realize that, to your point, everybody's playing different roles for everyone else to succeed. And what you're doing now, I'd like for you to share more with, because we've told my story many times, tell your story a little bit about kind of launching, helping launch my speaking career and now our children being older and now you launching kind of your whole career and the success you've been having with coaching and doing live events and I mean it's it's wonderful if you've never seen any of her stuff you should definitely check it out um, so tell, tell us a little bit about honestly I, I'd love for you to share because you don't share enough so you said launching my whole career <laughs> this is like my fourth career right um, I think when we slowed down for the pandemic and Curtis's focus went to what he loved and I wasn't necessarily going to garage sales with him, it gave me time to focus on what I love. And I love the Enneagram and I love art. And so I spent time putting energy into those things, getting certifications and taking classes online. And so as the pandemic has gone on now for a year, I've been able to sort of evolve into something unique and different for myself, which is coaching women, particularly around confidence and clarity. I do Enneagram coaching and Can training. Can you tell us real quick, what is the Enneagram for anybody that has never heard of it? So the Enneagram, <laughs> this is a really long video. <laughs> so the Enneagram is a personality system that has nine unique approaches to life. And what I love about the Enneagram is that other personality tests can kind of put people in, for my opinion, can put people in a bit of a box. You might be a D or an I or an N or an F or a J or whatever all those letters are. But the Enneagram is like this complex dynamic system that allows people to be aware of their tendencies, their motivations, but also it provides directions for resources to actually create real change and real transformation. And I just love helping a person deepen their own self-awareness, but then give them tools that aren't necessarily from me as a guru, but for me, understanding the, the complexities and the value and the resources in the tool to point them in directions where they can grow. So, yeah. And of course, I'm doing art. That's the one I always wanna talk about the most. Love it. If they wanna find out more about you, where would they go? They go to Traders World, I'll t no, they go to <laughs> lzimmerman.com or I'm also on Instagram at lzim. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> you are so welcome.
<laughs> All right, now it's time for my favorite part of the program. It's time for the 24-hour challenge. And today, Elle is gonna give us the 24-hour challenge designed specifically for you. For this episode, which we talked a lot about different things, taking risks, adventures, pivots. But the most important point I think we want you to take away is the importance of support. The importance of finding a partner, finding a friend, somebody who's gonna be your advocate, your cheerleader, your support, your sounding board. So in the next 24 hours, whether you have a big idea or not, reach out, find some community, connect with a friend, with someone who knows has your best interest and will be your cheerleader. And thank you, Elle, for being that for me for so many years. I hope you find that partner and you utilize them to help you live your dream. Live the dream. To learn more about Ray Sports Collection, go to facebook.com slash Ray Sports Collection. And if you're looking for a speaker to inspire and engage your people, visit my website, curtiszimmerman.com. Thanks for tuning in to Keynotes to Collectibles.